$5,000, $10,000, $15,000. Stimulus checks are confirmed coming from some certain states, cities, and counties. But when we talk about a stimulus check confirmed and coming out from your city and state or county, it's generally not as big as the rent stimulus. The rent stimulus is the cat's meow. Thousands of dollars, five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars are gotten by viewers for rent as much as eight hundred dollars a month. Across the board, in states in which you may have looked, yet you couldn't find it. Well, it's there. It's all really exciting news. In this recording, I'm going to go over the big money that's coming to you from states, cities, and counties, whether it's a stimulus check, rent, utility stimulus, and more. Meantime, states are doing extended UI benefits. All really exciting, great news. Then I'll be turning to the other stimulus that's coming in your hands that's different from a stimulus check. $24 for SSI and SSDI. How will that help? Where would it work and where would it land? Then EIDL, also escalated benefits. Then CDC grant, CARES Act 1 grant, rent grant, food grant, and also hazard pay grant. There's so much free money out there. The question is which one is available now, right now, which one's available in January, and which one's available thereafter. In a day in which we're seeing a lot of strange maneuvers from Congress that doesn't see anything sending out today, sending out tomorrow, I'm getting viewers money right now, and this recording you find out how you could be the next person. This is a big midday recording of Purple. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Purple. I'm so glad you joined me in a day in which I was really excited and energized by Holiday's LA recording, in which I told you sort of the, the mess that's going on in Congress with your second stimulus check. And then ultimately, I said, you know what? I want you to get you money right now. I want to get you money right now. And so I want to focus back on state. And viewers were really gunned up and ready to go and ready to rock and get that state money. So I was really encouraged that you understood where the big money is and the big money is right now. So please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please do. Tell your neighbors, your cat, your llama, your dog to all subscribe. Because I'm getting money for viewers right now. You need money for rent. You need money for food. You need money for utilities. You need money to get throughout this holiday season. And ultimately, whatever we see with Congress going on and going this and going there, it's it pales. It's a fraction of the big money that I'm getting viewers from the city, county, and states across the country. Every state is doing something big. And I don't mean necessarily the state government. I mean some of the state private agencies. I'll be going over those details in this video, so please subscribe. Also like this video. In this video, I'll be going over where you can get this big money. It's CARES Act 1 money, it's private money, it's utility money, and it's food and it's gifts as well. Yes, holiday gifts. Then I'll turn back to Congress and I'll go over the $2,400 of SSDI. Explain where that is because people just sort of say it's there and then it's like, where is it? <laughs> I did, where, where is it? It's like, I'm going to send Carmi Santiago to fight. It's like, where is that thing? Then I'll be talking about house pay, essential workers. Oh, did you hear what Amazon and Uber said today? I'll be turned to that as well. <laughs> and then uh, also I'll be covering the other big monies, EIDL, Lifeline and Hazard Pay. As always, let's get rock and rolling and let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news that you see here today is that viewers of this, country, of this channel continue to get big money by the minute by the day. Uh, the volunteers report that they're doing upwards of about 30 to 50 case new uh, people per day, helping them get money. And I'm seeing the results. I, I see sometimes the approval letters that viewers are getting. $5,000, $10,000. It's just incredible. And it's literally everywhere. So what I want you to understand when we start, as I start this recording is first, there's money everywhere. I don't care what state you're in, there's money there. That's the first thing. Second, if you've looked in your city and county and state, and, and, you, and I'm going to go over that in a second, you can't find it, don't worry, because it's likely also in a private organization. And I have viewers getting money for the private organizations. I'll, I'll explain that in a second. And then um, let me get to all those details as well. But let's start off the bat. Starting off the bat is there are 
private organizations that are paying big money for rent. And th what they're doing is they are picking up the slack where the cities and counties and states aren't doing anything. Let me explain first where you start the process. You start the process by calling up your city hall, your county hall, your county housing authority, it's your state housing authority. Ask them if they have any rent assistance for COVID. Very, very simple words. Any rent assistance for COVID. You don't add words to it like SSI or SSDI or for veterans or for seniors. Don't add extra words. Just rent assistance for COVID. Don't use complicated words like CARES Act 1. They don't know what CARES Act 1 is. Just, do you have any rent assistance for COVID? If you've looked and you've gotten to a, I don't know, <laughs> to a, let me explain which ones are and which ones have and which ones have not anymore. So San Diego County had it closed. Atlanta has it apparently still open. Houston has it apparently still open. It's relatively new. Nashville has it. Harrisburg has it. Um, also, counties across Georgia, like Gwinnett County, DeKalb, New York, has it for uh, in the city and the county. And then you have sporadic places, which just sort of pop up. And I want to use those as an example. We know that there's absolutely no rent from Gavin Newsom, the state of California. So there's nothing of the state of California Housing Authority. But one viewer in San Bernardino, it, which is a, a part of Southern California, a community, a county, reached out to their county housing authority and found rent and got approved from the county housing authority. So it just shows you there's always something peculiar out there. S Alabama viewers have got uh, rent from Alabama housing authority. Ultimately, what might have been there today may not be there tomorrow. For example, I've been detailing Brow in Florida. I've been detailing for now over two and a half weeks rent being paid to viewers in multiple counties in South Florida, like Broward County, Miami, Dade. Uh, Palm, West Palm, Orange, but they may not be there forever and they may not even be there by the time of this recording. These things are there and then gone. There, so if you've looked and, you, and you're pretty certain it's gone now, there's nothing available, then I want you to default to this. These are private national charities that are paying rent for viewers of this channel and just places all over the place. And first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where viewers have gotten rent paid in certain cities. And then I'm going to explain to you what national organizations are paying rent in a lot of different places. An example, to just start before I get to the details, is a person in, in, in Northern California said, I can't find anything in California. As I just said, can't find anything. Catholic Charities paid the person's rent. Paid the person's rent. Private organization, wonderfully well regarded. So that's sort of an example of where we are. Um, what's important to understand is that these organizations are doing God's work, and it's just incredible. These are the success stories for viewers of this channel. They have gotten rent paid in the following states the following way. Viewers have gotten rent paid in Mississippi from Mercy House Home Saver and Salvation Army and from MSHDA Eviction Diversion. In Philadelphia, there's a big stimulus package that they're working on or almost finished. In Indiana, they've gotten rent paid from indianahousingnow.org and also called by calling 211. In Las Vegas, they've gotten rent paid by Clark County. In the Kentucky, they got uh, utilities paid by Community Action. They've got a rent paid by, uh, in Pennsylvania by United Way, in Georgia by United Way, and in Nebraska by United Way. In Arizona, they've gotten rent paid by Salvation Army. Excuse me, in Arizona, they've gotten rent paid by New Leaf. And in Michigan, they've gotten rent paid by Salvation Army. Uh, in El Paso, they've gotten rent, El Paso, Texas, they've gotten rent paid by Project Bravo. Delaware from 211, Texas from 211, Rhode Island from Crossroads, and also in Rhode Island from the Housing Authority. They've gotten heating paid by HEAP in a lot of places. They've gotten mortgage assistance from Chase and mortgage assistance from 877 Get Hope, which is a division of uh, United Way. And um, let's get some more successes. They've gotten rent paid in Texas by St. Mary Magdalene, in Kentucky by Community Ministries, New Jersey by United Way, Ohio by Community Action, Massachusetts by Interfaith Social Services, TCDC from Phoenix uh, for, for Phoenix, Alabama 211, Delaware 10,000. They've gotten rent paid in Fort Bend uh, County in Texas from Catholic Charities in uh, NorCal, Northern California from Catholic Charities. So you see sort of a trend here. You hear certain names being repeated. Um, 
there's always someone that says there's nothing in Florida. Oh yeah, there is stuff in Florida. There's nothing in Ohio. I just said community action paid for someone's rent in Ohio. There's nothing in California. Oh no, they got paid from Catholic charities in several places in California. There's nothing in Texas. No, they got paid from St. Mary Magdalene in Texas. They got paid from um, community action in Texas. So here's sort of the examples of why you need to really keep an open mind. So which organizations are national? Well, community action, United Way, Salvation Army, uh, New Leaf and uh, St. Vincent de Paul have uh, been paying rent for viewers in cities and counties in, across this country. So ultimately, if you didn't hear your city or state announced in there, like Wisconsin or Montana, you didn't hear it announced, consider the other ones I announced across the board. Now, how about state stimulus checks? There's a reason I'm putting state stimulus checks later in this recording is because I don't want you to focus on state stimulus checks. Why? Because state stimulus checks are problematic. First, the amount of them is not huge. That's the first thing. Um, second, not everyone qualifies for them. And third, some of them have already been sent out. Now, they do go to $2,000. They're a lot of money sometimes, but sometimes they're not a lot of money. Um, but for example, in Orange, Florida, they did another round of stimulus checks this morning. It went live and it was just sold out in 10 seconds. That was about $1,000. I told you that was coming for the last few days. Austin has paid 2000 Houston 1200 North Carolina 335 Oregon 500 New Mexico 1200 Colorado 375 Maine 600 Jacksonville 1000 Orange has done 1200 a few times Nome Alaska also then pending Escambia County Fort Worth Gasden New Hampshire Rhode Island Connecticut Massachusetts New York New Jersey Virginia and Delaware um, as you see I don't want you to just wait around for a $300 stimulus check from your state, or even a $1,000, $2,000 stimulus check, because it may not come. It it may be, your state may not eventually do a stimulus check, or it may be too restrictive. I don't want you to just only focus on that. I want you to focus on the five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 you can get for rent in across the country. It's all really exciting, great news. Now, let's turn back to Congress. So what is Congress doing today? day. Is there anything in this that would give you a uh, stimulus separate from a char check? Yeah, PPP, if you want some more PPP. Oh, yeah, some people do like PPP, so I, I can't disparage it because some people like this PPP. So there will be another round of PPP in here, about $300 billion. Um, But how about in January? What else would you get in January? So Joe Biden is making a lot of promises, and this is what he's promising for January. $2,400 if you're on SSI and SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, calculated at $200 a month starting in January all the way up to December. This is all really great news because it's compounded with two other things. One is new step up, uh, lifetime that would be about 20%, and a new benchmark that could potentially raise your benefits every year that is different than COLA. Next, uh, he wants to do multiple stimulus checks. Uh, even today we heard about from Bernie Sanders about these multiple stimulus checks. Biden has never told us the amount of the stimulus check, the frequency of the stimulus check, or the duration of the stimulus check. It's time to start giving some details, Mr. President-elect. I mean, it's been a while. When I Earlier today, I said, you know what? I have not gotten any type of substantive statements from Biden about anything since transition weekend. The, day, the weekend after the election, he issued a series of uh, papers which were not particularly that in-depth. And since then, we've gotten next to nothing. I think it's time to start floating out some of this information. I mean, what are we going to just find out the day before you put it to a bill? Um, hazard pay. $10,000, sure, um, passed before Mitch, not at the Senate stage GOP. Uh, essential workers from January all the way up to uh, 60 days after the pandemic ends, th uh, calculated $13 an hour. Now, <laughs> essential workers were under fire today, and you saw my tweet. Amazon and Uber today had the audacity to say that their drivers, you know, driving people back from the club drunk at 2 a.m. in the morning, need to get a vaccine before elderly people. Really? <laughs> really? So Uber and, and, and Lyft, excuse me, Uber and Amazon are, are asking Congress to pay, have their drivers get a vaccine before the senior citizens of this country. Lord, and I was the only one angry about this. <laughs> Just, when does senior citizens become less important than a 
than a person driving someone dra back drunk from the club at, at 2 a.m. I just, uh, now I know Uber and Lyft and Amazon do other things, but driving a truck is not as, it's not as, as scary as a senior citizen who's in a convalescent home that needs this vaccine right now. Um, but those essential workers would get hazard pay. Um, they should not get the vaccine before, uh, before elderly people. Um, they could also get a new two rounds of EIDL. See, there's a lot of stuff they can get, just not the vaccine before elderly people. Uh, Joe wants to have you have two rounds of EIDL first. Well, uh, wants to have two rounds of EIDL. One round to cover the people who didn't get the $10,000 check the last time or the remainder of the $10,000 check. And then people who can get a new EIDL grant uh, that never applied before. Then he wants to have a CDC grant that would pay you if you're a central frontline worker. Food grant. I did the hazard pay grant. Uh, rent grant, which is very important. Oh, yeah. Today's bill... <laughs> <laughs> today's proposal for the CR. I have not heard an eviction moratorium or mortgage forbearance. I, 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 I'm just dumbfounded to say a report that no one has indicated whether there's an eviction moratorium or mortgage forbearance in the CR bill. I, I just <laughs> keep it together because I'm, I'm about to lose it every time I hear that they're not protecting people from being evicted on January 1st. That's where we certainly stand so far with this set of vote no. Hashtag set of vote no. Hashtag house vote no. Uh, but if there was an eviction moratorium, then you would need rent aid towards the end of the eviction period because you can't, then you would face eviction. Food aid and those things as well. So as you sit here today, there's a lot brewing. And ultimately, the money that's brewing is staying local. Go get it. Go get this money right now. Go on go on uh, your computer, go on your phone, and start finding this money right now. If you have a problem finding the money, then go to the pinned comment in this video below it, or the pinned, video, uh, pinned link in the corner if you're watching on a computer. And it'll open up the community page. You'll see it. It's news.lla.com. Look for the community page. Go to it. And there's about 15 volunteers separated from Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Reach out to the volunteers. They're there to help you. And they're absolutely incredible. If you have questions in the comments today's video, drop in the comments below. Meantime, join me on Being a Mitch coming up live right after this recording. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and save my life for more.